Good morning, class six. Uh, so last time we had discussed chapter two, and I'd already finished chapter two. Uh, so I will be sending uh, exercises, multiple choice, fill in the blanks, and question answers through PDF. Okay, I'll be sending in a WhatsApp group. So today I I like to start uh, this one chapter uh, three. Okay, what processor tabular presentation? So I'll start this chapter. If you have your book, page number twenty-seven, turn to page number twenty-seven. So, word processor, Microsoft Word. Okay. So table is one of the most important feature in Microsoft Word for presenting information in a tabular form. So here in chapter T, tabular presentation means this in Microsoft Word they have added one feature that is table. So in class five we have already finished chapter. on uh, microsoft word processor where we have learned about features in microsoft word but in class 6 there is an added feature which is a table a tabular presentation so when you are working in microsoft word we need a table table is very very important feature in microsoft word we need a table to organize our data right so A table is an organized presentation of a data segregated among the various numbers of rows and columns. So, so uh, children, like table means just you can imagine a table consists of a row and a column. Okay, table means rows and column. It comprises of rows and columns, makes a table. Okay, so each and every boxes are known as these are known as cell. Okay, so horizontal line and vertical line. That intersection of horizontal and vertical line, or intersections of rows and columns, makes a table. So why do we need these kind of table? We need these kind of table to organize our data in a document. Okay, a series of vertical cells is known as a column in a table, whereas a series of horizontal cells in a table is known as rows. So series of horizontal and vertical. So horizontal lines and vertical line makes rows and columns. Okay, so the intersections of rows and columns makes a table. In this chapter, you will learn how to create, edit, and format a table in Microsoft Word to present information in an effective manner. So, you in this chapter, we will discuss about how to. create and edit and format details in table to make or to write an information in an effective manner so how to create a table so how do you create these table in microsoft word right so a table can be created by multiple ways in microsoft word first There are so many ways to create a table. Okay, the first thing you have to open Microsoft Word document. That means in your computer you see an Office package, and from the Office package you have to choose Microsoft Word, and from Microsoft Word you have to select table. To insert a new table, place the cursor at the location where you want to insert a table. So in this, this is your document, Microsoft Word document. First, you need to place your cursor where you want to insert your table. Okay? You, if your cursor is here, then once you insert the table, your table appears here. If your cursor is at the right side, then once you insert the table, your cursor, a table, uh, table will be displayed there. And if your cursor is on the left side, then once you insert the table, your table will appear here. Okay? So first, you need to select the. a uh, position or the location where you want to insert your table then you have to in that way first you select it and you insert the table then there is one one more way for inserting a table that is using a table grid to use a table grid you have to click on a table then you go to insert tab in the table groups then in the drop down menu with the table grid appear select the number of rows and columns Now, children, see if you are going to create a table. First, you need to know how many rows and how many columns you want. Okay, you have to specify that. Suppose you need four columns, five rows. You have to write or you have to select that number of rows and number of columns. That way, you can insert table using table grid. Okay. Then there is one more way. 
insert table using table dialog box so from the insert tab click on the table button and select the insert table option from the drop down menu then you can insert a table so when you select the option called insert table you can insert table directly without selecting any number of rows and any number of columns without specifying number of rows and columns you can directly insert a table from this option using insert table dialog box okay so this is one way to insert a table now once after you finish inserting the table you need to enter to the data okay let us discuss how to insert data adding data to the rows or the columns of table is very easy so once you have finished inserting a table you need to insert the data now you can enter data in a row or a column of the table by selecting the table and placing the cursor on the cell in which you want to enter the data it's very easy so if you want to insert data here you click with the help of a mouse click here and start typing okay click here and start typing that way you can insert your data okay it's very very easy to move from one cell to another cell in the table use the tab key so once you have started typing if your cursor is here then suppose you finished suppose you have written let me give you an example Suppose you have written Monday. Okay, your cursor is here. With the help of a tab, with the help of a tab key, which is there in the keyboard, you just click tab. Your cursor will move here. Okay. Then you write Tuesday. Then press tab key. Your cursor will move here. This way you can insert your data. Okay. To enter the data in your table. Now, after you finish inserting the data, you need to edit a table. Edit means sometimes, like we have suppose finished writing on the table, you need to edit some text. Okay. Once the table is created, you can enter the entire table, the individual cell, and an entire row or a column or an entire table. You can edit the entire table, or you can edit a certain part, like certain cell or certain column or certain row. You can always edit. The margin of the table can also be edited to fit in a more text per box using the auto fit option. The visual appearance of the table can be enhanced by changing the table style. So you can edit and the this is the visual appearance of the table since it is very very simple. You can change the visual appearance of the table into other styles it is there in your system it's there the options are there in microsoft word there are so many table style you can choose one style and you can change the visual appearance of your table you can beautify it you can modify it you can change the color you can change the color of the text inside the table you can fill the table with the colors or you can change the border colors all these things are possible okay now come inserting rows or a column in a table so see children there are one two three four five six these are the columns and one two three four rows if you want to add some rows then you can insert rows by using insert rows option okay and you can insert columns too you can insert column also using insert column option so children like once you have finished entering table you can always edit insert delete you can do anything with that table okay so it's inserting a table means for that you have to go to the layout tab from the table tools you have to choose layout then you can either insert above or below your rows can be inserted above or below and your columns can be inserted to the left or to the right okay that you have to remember rows always above and below and your columns always can be inserted to the left side and to the right side so you have to choose that option from the layout menu okay this is how you can insert a 
table. Now, after you finish inserting a table, you can format a table. So, it's in page number 31, formatting a table. To format the table, formatting means to change the style of your table, okay? To choose the table style, select the table that you want to work upon and click on the design tab under the table tools as shown. See, table style, if you want to change the table style, here, table style means, children, I think you have seen some calendar, okay, your month calendar. In the month calendar, you see some, you see every month, like January to December, you see some, the dates, okay, you see the dates and the, um, uh, dates and the weeks, okay. So, it is arranged in different style, it is arranged in different format. That way you can also change, you can also format the table, you, to change, to, to format the table means to give style, okay, to give style to your table, to arrange it in such a way, such a way that your table appears different, okay, the table looks more, uh, more uh, organized, okay, that is known as formatting a table, you can always format the table, you can always format, change the color of the table, you can change the style of your table also, change your uh, uh, inside field color, background color, the border color, so these things can be done in Microsoft Word, okay. After you finish editing or changing the color and the style of the table, if you want to change the height and width of the table, that is also possible. So height and width means, so you can see this box and you can see this box. What is the difference? You can see the difference of the size, okay? This is small and this is big. So height means this one. Height is this one, okay? So this is the height, I'm increasing the height and width means I'm increasing the width of the table. So you can always edit height and width of the table also. So these are all comes under formatting a table. Once you finish creating a table, you can format the table, okay? So after you finish formatting the table, you can split and merge cells. So your splitting and merging means, splitting means you distribute table into different rows and columns, okay? And merging means to merge or to combine, to combine different rows into a single row. This is called merge, to make it a one box, to make, to combine it in a one row, single row. It's called merging and splitting means to divide again into different rows and different columns. This is called merging and splitting here children. Why I am telling you this is when you start working in Microsoft Word, sometimes you need this. You need to merge it. You need to split it. You need to edit. You need to insert table. You need to change the height of the table. Sometimes you need to change the width of the table. Okay. Sometimes you need to change the color of the table. So all these things are possible in Microsoft Word. Okay. So today I will discuss till here. Uh, split and merge cells. So children please go through your book. Page number, uh, page number 27 to till page number 30. One okay, you just go through your book, and if you don't have your book, I will send you the PDF today itself. Please go through, learn this, okay, and in my next class, I'll continue from this chapter itself. Okay, thank you, class.